astral sorcery. Okay, let's go. Go this way. Uh, this way. This way. Oh, 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 oh. Um. We have to rely on quests and using the G E I. Uh, uh, astral sorcery. Floating crystals can only be found in ancient shrines which spawn in mountain mount, mountainous areas. Dig into their basements to find a floating crystal. Cool story, bro. Uh, we have stuff here. Using starlight. A lot of recipes in the mod require starlight in addition to items when you're just getting started. The only way to use starlight is to place a regular crafting table near a floating crystal. Okay, the reasoning. No, the re, the resonating wand. The resonating wand. Sorry, honestly, I I'm, I feel like I'm just my English has just gone downhill since I left school. <laughs> it's used to act, activate uh, astral sorcery blocks while holding it, running around the overworld. You will you can also see the location of rock crystal ore that spawns on the ground. Place the crafting table on the wall block near the frozen crystal and craft. And craft uh, the, re the re resonating god, resonating ones in it. You can see resonating ones recipe by searching it in G E I, uh, or by clicking one task. Okay, so we want to put craft table here. We only want to type in here. Uh, res resonating. Which one? I don't know what I'm saying, aren't they? So we click R on this, don't we? Oh. Craft. This is how you craft it. So it's engraved marble, or any sort of marble, aquamarine, and ender pearl. So this, 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 this. Boom. Coolio. Quest book. Let's go. Collecting starlight. The luminous crafting table allows you to get starlight just from being able to see the night sky. Through it, you will also be powered by a floating crystal if one is available. So, luminous crafting table allows you to get starlight just from being able to see the night sky. The craft, uh, to craft items with the luminous crafting table, uh, you have to give it the items as usual and it uh, must have access to an amount of starlight depending on the recipe if the luminous crafting table has the items and starlight required right click it with a res resonating wand to craft the item what what I'm confused so what do we do now What do I do? Did it tell me what to do? We're past that now, mate. You have to give. Ah, okay. So marble on the sides, crafting table in the middle. Okay, marble sides. So we go uh, here. We go marble on the sides. Go crafting table here, go here. Just creates that, and then put this here. Uh, next. Uh, crafting items with starlight. Uh, illumination powder is just one of the many items you can make with starlight. You can place it down anywhere and it will act as a light source. Cool. Uh, and it doesn't take up a block space, which is quite cool as well. Place a luminous crafting table and the quartz block on the quartz block, and craft the illumination uh, powder according to its crafting recipe, which is glowstone surrounded by oh, aquamarine surrounded by glowstone. Let's go here. One, two, three, four. Boom. Three. We... 
What? I didn't mean to do it. Oh, yes. Look at that. Look at it. Look at it. D did it work? How come we haven't got it in our inventory? It's gone. It's gone forever. Quest book. Okay, that's done. Introduction to Botania. This is so cool. It's a tech mod disguised as a magic mod. With it, you would use flowers to generate and ma uh, manipulate mana, which can be used to do various things. Okay, let's go over to uh, this side. Sky of Beginning. Okay, quest book. Generating mana. Magical flowers are created in the petal apothecary. Apothecary, yes. Fill it with water using a water bucket. Make and then throw in the petals according to the end of flames crafting recipe and then throw in a seed to craft a flower. You can either throw in items at the petal or right click with the petal in hand to place it inside. You can hold sneak and then right click with an empty hand to take the last item back out. And when burnable item is thrown on the ground next to it, it's placed in a manner or minus better, no matter will move it. God, what, what on earth is this? What on earth? Once you've made the end of flame, place it on the lightest grass block, throw some coal nearby, and it will begin to generate mana. What? Okay, where do I even start? Where do I start? Where do I start? Here? Nope. What am I doing? I think. Ah. So, what was it again? <laughs> Sorry, guys. I'm so poor. So poor at this. I need. I need like four of anything, I'm guessing. Get lost. No. Oh. Do we just throw? I don't know. Oh, is it sneak? No. Hmm. This is weird. Have a dirt? No. No. Um. Um. Okay, let's read the quest book again. Oh god, I'm a bit zoomed out, aren't we? What magical flowers are created in the petal? Yeah, fill fill it with water using a water bucket. Make and then throw in the petals according to. Okay, how do we? How do we make petals? You can either throw items at the petal apothecary or right click with the petal in hand. What? So we just throw? Oh fuck. Uh yes. Okay, so we. I think we just throw. Yeah, let me throw this. Throw this. And then throw this. No. Nope. Throw. Oh, just, just go in it, mate. Just, just, just go in. Just go in the bloody thing. I don't think it's going in. Is it dirt? That's got to go in. Oh, mate. I'm so confused. I'm so confused. Oh. I'm pretty sure this is it, no? Nah. Something's wrong here. What's going on? Oh, mate. What 
What on earth is happening here? I haven't got any of these. Have I? So confused. This is definitely the last one I'm doing, so I'm getting confused. Um, if we... So, what is it? Did we just like... Oh, I see. I see it. I see it, see it, see it, see it. Right, dirt is nothing. Seeds is nothing. Okay, so we need two brown, a silver, a red, and some seeds. Oh, yes! Oh, look at me go. Right. Now. What next? Moving and storing mana. Mana spellers are used to transfer mana, and mana pools are used to store mana. Sneak right click and wand of the forest on the mana spreader. Uh, then do the same on a mana pool to point the spreader at the pool. Any mana inside the mana spreader will be sent to the mana pool. So, mana. Okay. Sneak right click a wand of the forest on the mana spreader and do the same on mana pool. God. Wand of the forest. So you want to go boom, then you want to go boom. Yeah? No? There we go. Ready? Is that it? What? Well, have I got to put someone in here? Nope. What do I do now? Bloody hell. Fill the mana pool. Mana spreaders are used to transfer mana. And mana pools are used to store mana. Sneak right click a wand of the forest on the mana spreader and do the same on the mana pool to point the spreader at the pool. Any mana inside the mana spreader will be sent to the mana pool. That's what I'm doing, isn't it? Doing something? Anyone? Anyone care to say? What's this doing? This isn't doing anything, is it? Oh, mate. So confused. This just isn't doing it. I'm telling you now. Guys, someone please tell me how to do this. Um, mod pack. Magic? I'm telling you. Yeah, can we not? Can we not go in it? Cool. Thanks for helping me. What are we doing wrong? Sneak right click. I'm not right clicking, am I? I'm really left. Oh, I am right clicking. I, I actually don't know what I'm doing wrong here. Sneak. No. Do I need a bucket or something? I, I haven't got a bucket. 
I haven't bloody got one. Oh, I've fucking done it. I've got it. I'm reading this bit. Place it on the lightest grass pipe, throw some coal nearby, and it will generate mana. Whoa. Now what? Ah. Oh. Fucking finally. Now what? Next. Oh God, this is too hard. This one. <laughs> uh, a mana stealing. Some items can be crafted by throwing them into the mana pool that has mana in it. This uses up the mana. Throw an iron ingot into the mana. Okay. Let's throw this stuff in there. I'll do both. There we go. Uh, later on in the progression, you will eventually make a portal to the Altium. This essentially works the same as crafting with a mana pool. You can throw certain items into the portal and you will get other items out. Any item that you throw in that is not part of a recipe will be lost. Ooh. Okay. Okay. So we go here and we go, eesh, eesh. Can we go? Can we take us anywhere? Yes! So that one's done. I think now we move on to something else. School's out! Now that you've completed all of the tutorials, you can head over to the Overwood and start playing for real. Oh my god! Oh my god! How do we get our rewards? Oh. Ah! Oh. Journey map adds a menu map to the top right of the menu. Beneath it, you can see your current coordinates. Cool, yeah. You can hit create waypoint by uh, button B by default. Cool. Press B. Yep. Uh, because never dimension the overall dimension divided by eight waypoints that are. Okay. Okay. Yep. I already know that. Yep. Dreaming about will also uh, map up caves that you explore. Cool. Yes. Oh my god! With this axe, can we like chop a whole tree down? If we can, that's bloody amazing, that is. Go on, do it. Oh my goodness me. Uh, whoa! Whoa. Okay, we're a bit laggy. I think it's because it's just all loading. Wow. Wowee. Wowee. Are we still like, have we still got quests to do? I'll oh, go away, zombie. It is quite laggy, isn't it? Let it load, people. Let it load. Maybe I can. Maybe I can do some things. Stuff and things. Uh, no, we'll leave that off for now. It should be alright. We just let it all load a bit. Oh, the zombie should have gone by now. Yeah, okay. Have we still got more quests to do? Yes, we have. How cool is that? I think. Basic storage. Cool. Technology beginner. Steam power. This is brilliant, people. So, we will be starting this uh, next episode. I will sort the frame rate out. I think you can go in here and do stuff. Uh, yeah, we'll do this. Fog. Fast. Uh, no. Uh, video settings. Let me bring this down to 8 or something. Graphics. I'll go fast for now. Maybe that will help. We'll see how it goes. It's a little bit smoother. Um, I, think I, do, I think I've got to put a little bit more RAM into the... 
into the sort of allocation so it runs a bit smoother. This is alright at the moment. I just want to see this fall down again. It's so cool. It's, oh my god, what are you? Zombie villager. I love how you can just cut trees down so easily now. That's amazing. God, it is laggy, isn't it? I think we need to get out of this, this biome. Let's have another quick look. I don't want to turn that off. Uh, clouds can go off. I'm going to put this back up. I'll put this on 60. It's just because it's loading in. I, honestly, I've played all the mods before and all the mods run fine. So this should run. This should run better than all the mods. It's got less mods on it. Right, guys, I am going to leave it there. God, there's loads of mobs there. Uh, F5, is it? It is. So I will see you in the next episode. Hopefully we can start making stuff and things. Like, oh, God, he's coming for me. Um, like machines and stuff. Uh, but yeah, we'll end the episode here. Thanks for watching, guys. If you do want to see more, then you know what to do. Um, hit the like button, subscribe if you are new. And I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.